Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. We are in Pennsylvania here at Washington County Machine Guns. This is the largest machine gun rental company on the east side of the Mississippi. And the only place in the country where normal people can get trained on how to use high explosives. It's owned and operated by Tred Barton. He is ATF licensed and a certified Pennsylvania blaster. So everything's legal and safe. So we're gonna go have some fun. If you haven't subscribed, you're gonna wanna do it now. All right, so we have a concrete pit where we can safely detonate small explosives. We've got a hand slash arm sent out by Ballistic Dummy Lab. So we have an MK2 fragmentation grenade, and this is a real one. Yeah, this it's is a real grenade. This an actual fragmentation grenade yep. that would have been thrown in combat, typically filled with cotton B. Yep. But what do we have? We've got, this right here is five pounds of RDX, which is a very hot explosive. We're gonna be putting about two or three ounces into the body of the grenade, and that will give us as much explosive capability as the normal grenade would with Comp B. But we're gonna be using RDX today, and we're gonna find out what happens to your hand if you don't let go or throw your grenade. There's three safety devices on uh, one of these MK2s. You have a thumb flip, and then from there you keep your spoon held, you pull the pin, and then once that pin is gone, you let go of that spoon, it flips, hammer strikes, and the explosive goes off. And then we find out what happens if you uh, forget to throw your grenade. I would say we should do predictions, but I think it's gonna disappear. I think you can take it. Okay, let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, first time on the channel, we actually have to use some ballistic glass on this setup. Alpine Armoring has sent us out a SWAT truck piece of glass, which is cool. It's over an inch thick weighs like 50 pounds, and that should protect these cameras from just about anything. So I want to get a big thank you to Alpine Armory for sending this out. And hopefully we don't have to see it actually in action. This is true. <laughs> Let's go blow some stuff up. Let's do it. High speed's ready. High speed's ready. We good? Good. Fire on the hole. Three, two. <laughs> All right, nobody move. Cameras are good. Good. Okay, nobody move. <laughs> Hell yeah. It looks like all cameras triggered. It looks different in here. It does. There's parts of the gel stuck to the side of the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We brought some of the foliage down. Yeah. We trimmed the tree. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so that's ground zero, right? Look at the hole it ate out of this. That's I, pretty cool. I don't think there's any I left. I see any gel except, except for like this right here. Oh, look at that concrete, how much it took out. So were those the actual like fragments of the grenade hitting it? Yes. Very cool. That's crazy, look at that. I didn't actually look at this wall. Was this clean? It was just like this. Just like that, yes. whole way across. Yes. All this dark stuff, is that the gel that turned into carbon? It's like mixed with wood fibers and he's, it's gone. It's a very interesting smell over here. Yeah, look, this is probably the biggest oh, piece. piece of gel. Yeah. Oh, Adam, <laughs> Adam look behind you on the ground. Oh! It flung oh, half of his arm over here. Okay. His bone's sticking out and everything. So it didn't totally disappear. Okay. No. But so imagine if you didn't throw the grenade. <laughs> that's that's what you get. Oh, that's actually a really useful visual. You could still bayonet somebody. That's true. Well, I'm glad we found something because it seemed odd that it would just totally disappear. Yeah. But the hand does not exist. No. What's cool about this is this is one of the smaller explosives we're going to be doing here. Yeah. Wow. It's about to get a whole okay. lot crazier. I think we need to go watch high speed. Yeah. It's going to be good stuff. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Th this is what's cool about this angle is being able to see all the fragments making a dust storm all across as they scatter out. So I don't see the main body. Of the arm? Yeah. Hmm, it's probably just so slow in comparison. Oh, there, there it is. There. Oh, <laughs> look at that bone. <laughs> it's a lamp. It turns the arm into a fiber optic. <laughs> Even the gel is hitting the concrete so hard that it's knocking dust, dust and off, yeah. pieces of it off. That's cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's just a skeleton hand glowing. So the downside of exposing the cameras for seeing that blast is we don't see much of the rest of what's going on. Right.
it's really cool to actually see the edge of an explosion wave front. It's, it's always got really interesting texture because it's literally battling the speed of sound essentially right. up against that air. Yep. So you get all those cool gases in there. It has to fight then everything coming back off of the wall yeah. to keep going. All of those yeah. wave fronts coming back and forth. So while we may not see it as much in the, the actual fragmentation grenade, that is happening. Yep. Alrighty, up next we're going to be testing a different explosive on the same type of gel arm. The real deal dynamite. This is Dino Nobel dynamite. It is not a binary compound makeup. This is... As real as it gets. As real as it gets. Yep. So this is a bundle of three. Uh, we are only going to be using one for the arm because yeah. we would like to have, try something to have something left. left. Yeah. Three would probably so, be overkill. But yeah. in comparison, this is going to be a whole stick of dynamite and it still may not even be as much as the RDX was. So. Um, it'll just be a different type of explosive and we'll see what happens. This should be roughly emulating what would happen if you were still holding it and it went off. Right, so I don't know if you can see on that, but you can see with my hand, a stick, it's, it's quite long. So it's kind of the same setup as the fragmentation grenade that we did. He's holding onto it. And then here in a second, we're gonna get this all hooked up, get back to a safe distance, blow it up and see if anything survives. Okay, ready, ready. All right, we're ready. <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. Yeah! Hey, there's gel raining down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we definitely made a hole. So maybe a, a stick was a little more powerful than we thought. Aha! Oh. I thought that was a rock. So we're already off the bigger chunks. Yep. But that looks just like the first. I know. <laughs> so, again. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't look quite as, ba as bad as the other one. Let's show those side by side. I'm wondering if, like that's from the bone, but I'm wondering if some of these aren't from the fragmentation, like going it back looks like it got and ripping it, where like this one, it just went like yeah. away. Well, not to mention, the dynamite went further under the arm physically yeah. than the grenade did. So I would say the RDX did do quite a bit more. I don't think it did anything to the concrete, but definitely sent gel everywhere. Yeah, it's a lot uh, messier in it's here this time. It wood pretty far too. Watching that, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole arm was gone because of how catastrophic that looks. I mean, look at this frame. It looks like the entire <laughs> arm is gone. Oh yeah, very clear. So this one, we've got enough frame rate to get a little bit of the travel down the stick into his arm, and then it just turns it into a fiber optic. It travels like straight through the arm, it looks like. It's, I think it's it sent gel so hard into the concrete that it ignites it again. <laughs> There's so much more to be revealed when you up the frame rate that much. This is what we're usually filming bullet impacts at, but right. now we're looking at a hand and arm get totally eviscerated. And you can yep. see it grow down the entire stick. And then starts bursting out right there. You can see in between the fingers, you get pockets of <laughs> gases coming out. It's all about least resistance, right? And then there's it impacting on the wall, igniting all that again, just from pressure building up so rapidly. Wow. But yet in real life? <sighs> yeah. Our third test is going to be something called debt cord. This is quite a lot of it. So we trimmed off maybe two feet or so and shoved it through a hand. I'm hoping he survives. I hope it just opens. But I don't know, this stuff travels at 20,000 feet per second as it's going down the line. That's faster than like any bullet I've ever heard of. That's insane. So this is made of what, PETN? PETN, correct. Hopefully we'll get a cool unobstructed look at the blast and then we'll see how it interacts with gel. Probably dim it down and concuss it a little bit more yep. and then another unobstructed view. So that'll be, I think that'll be really cool. I hope it opens and we're left with the wrist because the other two, we, we don't get any of that. It's yeah. all been, it's all gone bye-bye. This should be less overall explosive in the hand. Yes. So we should be okay. But and this is 50 grain, 50 which grain. is good okay, to mention. Yes. So yep. 50 grain. It ain't 400, but it'll do. Okay. Is everyone ready? I'm good. Ready, ready. Three, two, one. This 
so that's our puck. There's nothing left. Oh, oh what is that? Um, I think that's that. So that's what, those are the things that go inside that. Yep, that, that makes looks sense like now. it coincides with Okay, so the that. hand didn't disappear. Okay. Is there any bones in there? Or they all fly out. They all flew out. It looks like this ripped straight open. Okay. So I do see some bones in here. Yep. It's a graveyard. Some bones. Um, it's hard to tell if these are from yeah. previous explosions. Okay. Ballistic high speed puzzle <laughs> factory. I think it's safe okay. to assume you shouldn't be holding deck cord when it goes off. I could take that. Could you? You're I'm built different? Built different. RDX, dynamite, and deck cord carnage. Oh, don't forget this one. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the deck cord is so it fast. Just, it just liquefied the hand. Can we even so, see it? <laughs> in one frame? One frame. What was that, two feet of deck cord at least? It looks like it's clenching a bolt of lightning immediately liquefies it, it's gone. So I was very incorrect about just getting it to open. Yeah. I was expecting like an open up and a degloving. There's a shockwave that bounces off of this block and interrupts the, the fireball. They're like bouncing back and forth, yeah. spreading all that fire. That's kind of cool. Little tiny swatches of something are hitting it so hard it's igniting. And now we get a better look yeah. at the shockwaves battling each there other. There was like back two or three more right yeah. there. Like those Windows Media Mixer yeah. <laughs> sound waves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a Oh, look at the... Whoa. <laughs> wow. So those are... There's too much to point out. <laughs> sort of like with bullets when you get that mock cone. This yeah. is sort of like its detonation cone because it has its outward velocity plus its travel through its own medium yeah. velocity and that gives you that triangle. So if that were a, a like perfectly flat piece, you could actually use that angle to tell you how fast it's moving if you know how fast it's detonating this way. Gotcha. Which could be huh? kind of useful. I did not expect it to be this no. destructive. You can see it pop through his fingers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those different pressure pockets. I am really excited for the bigger stuff now. No kidding. And that's only 50 grain. Yeah. Really hope you guys liked that video. Hoping we delivered on the hundreds of comments we get almost every day yeah. about doing a hand grenade. Hand grenade, hand grenade, yep. hand grenade. And dynamite. Can't go wrong with dynamite and deck cord. This is crazy stuff. Yeah. Thanks to these Ballistic Dummy Lab analogs, we've got a pretty good idea of what might happen if you're not careful around explosives. Uh, you said what might happen, not what will happen. That, that's what would happen. <laughs> Except a lot more blood. Yes. Yeah. Now it is uh, worth mentioning again, Tred Barton, who's here with us at Washington County Machine Guns. He is federally licensed for safety. He can uh, manufacture these, purchase these, detonate, train people on it. So if you're going to do this stuff, make sure you go somewhere um, to do it properly, such as here in Pennsylvania. So yep. we are going to be using some more of this next episode. We're going to be pulling out some more deck cord. Probably yes. some thicker stuff as well. Because this is on the thin end. It is. It's a lot bigger than this. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you're going to want to do it now. Thanks to Washington County and thanks to Ballistic Dummy Lab. Yep. On to the next shoot. Cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Okay. <laughs> I always got to push the dynamite. <laughs> push it. <down. laughs>